back. All right. Looks good. No, you guys look good. No, no, you. No, you. Don't, don't say it looks good. You guys look good. You look like the, you're the best. All right. All right. You can see my face? No, you can't. No, you can't. See, it disappeared. I'll just keep walking till we see something. That was almost a dab. It wasn't though. It wasn't though. <laughs> it wasn't a dab. Oh, what a day. As far as you know, sunburn? That's why I wear sunscreen. Sunscreen works, everyone. Sponsor me, sunscreen company. I wear it every day. It's part of my morning routine. When I turn on the stream, we talk about what's going on, and we turn, uh, we turn on the sunscreen. We, <laughs> we put on sunscreen. Wow. Look, a pretty river, guys. Wow. Pretty. Love New Hampshire. What the fuck is that? Where are you going? Oh, construction, nice. Bikes. We could get a, one of those foldable bikes everyone wants to get me, or wants me to get. That would probably weigh like 30 plus pounds and I have to carry it. They're gonna look at me funny. Is <laughs> it like stopping traffic and then I'm in through and stuff like that? Will they let me through or do I have to take a detour? Oh, is this a nature trail? I'm taking this path. Wait, but no, I want food. Let's just take this path. This looks nice. Skoma River Greenway. This connects us all the way to the Connecticut River. Oh my lord, that's amazing. <laughs> yes. Really need to try and get a bicycle? I don't want a bicycle though, I like walking. Look at this path. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Ah, oh, trees, shade. Ah, <sighs> yes. There's a man with a stop sign. You've never seen someone holding a stop sign? On the other side of the stop sign, it says slow. It's crazy. <gasps> a squirrel. Do you see it? Wow, nature. Nature, everyone. Wow, this, the squirrel is bold. Chase the squirrel? No, it's okay. The squirrel's chill with me. It's just staring at me and I'm staring at him. Alright, let's continue. Oh, and it ran away. Well, no, you're from Germany, you don't have that? Well, if you're doing road construction and you have to kind of control traffic, I'm guessing it does happen on occasion in Germany too. What constitutes visiting a state? I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Like, I've been to some places that I don't really count as like countries I visited. Like, I was in the Singapore airport, but I don't say I've been in Singapore. I've been in the uh, 
Johannesburg Airport, but I didn't, don't say I've been to South Africa or Africa. But really, it's what, what is that? There's something in the middle of the trail. It's not a squirrel, it's bigger than that. What are you? What are you? But it's not like something big enough to be scared of. What is it? Oh my God, what is it? It looks cute. That's a scary sounding tree. <laughs> Don't fall on me, please. Also, Jesus, that's startling. Where did it go? It's somewhere in there. Also, please don't be a bear cub. <laughs> Where did it go? Whatever it is, it's sneaky. I've been to Massachusetts. Yeah, I was there yesterday. Watch out for snakes too. Do they have bad snakes here? Giant tick. Not look. It moved cat-like in my mind. It could have just been a household cat, but it looked different. But my eyes aren't very good. Watch out for people. People are scary. Scary people. That's why I hitchhike, because I don't like people. <laughs> this is the worst uh, reason to hitchhike, because you literally have to deal with people all day. Now, there's all these businesses down there. Oregon's down the trail. Hmm. Kind of want to check out the town, but this trail's so nice and shady and beautiful. That makes me happy. And I have to sneeze. But it's not coming out. You know that feeling? <sighs> eat and go back there? But I don't know if there's many places to eat. I, the trail follows the, the road pretty much uh, perpendicular, not perpendicular, parallel to it. Charge your phone and everything, big batteries. Which sunshades are those? Uh, $15 ones from Publix, which is a grocery store. Fish for dinner tonight. I think I'm going to wait for Maine. I think I'm going to wait for Maine before I splurge on a fish dinner. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking on the trail. I like it. And it's shady, which just feels glorious. Dumpster dive stream. I do want to take you guys dumpster diving at some point. I've done that on previous trips. Um, if you're unaware, like if, you haven't, if you're new here, that's save money on, on your food budget. Um, but I haven't on this trip. Um, and with streaming, I just want to make sure I'm, I'm doing it legally. So I'm going to check up the laws on that. Uh, actually, I think I briefly checked it up a couple of weeks ago. And it's not like, unless there's like a no trespassing, like don't go there sign, like garbage has been deemed public space kind of thing. Like once you throw something out, you don't have privacy of it anymore. You can't get mad at someone for taking something that you've just thrown out. Unless there's a no trespassing sign where your dumpster is. Then the act of dumpster diving would be trespassing on private property. But it doesn't have to do with dumpster diving, it's more just trespassing. Have you fished for the day to get food before? No, I haven't. So pretty. <laughs> uh, I love it. Uh, what a beautiful path. Oh, 
Oh, we're losing the asphalt. We're going to gravel up here. Nice. Are you going to choose where you're going to stand to get picked up? That's a good question. I look for three things. You don't always get all three, but I try my best to get those three things uh, in a hitchhiking spot. I look for a long line so that people can see you well before they have to pull over. Uh, so they have time to make that decision whether or not they want to pick you up. I look for a wide shoulder where they can safely pull out of the lane of traffic so it's not endangering anyone uh, picking you up. And I look for ideally slow traffic. So it's a lot easier to pull over going 20 than it is going 70. Uh, so that's kind of what I look for. And you kind of just look at places and, and see how much of those three things you can get in one spot. Also, don't have to have a new power plant. Do you think they just throw like decaying fuel cells, radioactive fuel cells, in an unlocked dumpster? I hope they don't. But they might. You never know. This looks new. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that railing. Wow. Oh, fresh grass. Wow. New Hampshire, you've outdone yourself. They dump it into the ocean? I don't think they do that. I don't think they do that. Where are you planning to go? Uh, like today, in life, on this trip? Today, I don't know, I'm just walking in this direction. I have to get to Montpelier, um, Vermont, by Wednesday at noon uh, to meet a friend, but it's Monday. And that's only like a little bit down the road, so I'm not in a rush. I just found this nice path and I'm walking down it. I wonder if it's a rail trail? This, yeah, this very well could have been a, a railroad at one point and they just repurposed it as a trail. There's a lot of those. They do pollute a ton, like you're saying, they just dump radioactive waste in the ocean because they're like, we don't care about it. I don't think that's how it happens, but I, I do agree that humans do dump a lot of things in the ocean, but I don't think they're dumping raw nuclear waste into the ocean. Outcast, thank you for subscribing, welcome to the Twitch Irons, and thank you for the support. You'd be surprised, how do you know? How do you know? Like, if you make the claim that they dump nuclear waste into the ocean, it's up to you to actually prove that claim. <laughs> you can't be like, say some like, out there statement and be like, prove it that they don't do that. No, you have to prove that they do do that. It's not how it works. What's your hitchhiking plan safe to you achieve all 50 states? Uh, I want to take you guys to Europe with me. Japan jumped nuclear waste into the ocean when the earthquake happened? I don't think they meant to do that. But yes, when a natural disaster happens and like there's a nuclear meltdown, then yes. Something like that can happen. But it's not just like they're like, ah, you know what? We've got all this nuclear waste. Ah, just dump it in the ocean. Give you a ride when you're around Germany. Germany is a big country. Like for Europe, it's a big country. Where about in Germany are you? You don't have to dox yourself, but I'm more curious than anything. <laughs> Come to UK, I'll drive past you and laugh at you. Thank you. That's why I do this. I like to see people's laughter and uh, their joyous emotion as they laugh and they drive past me.
Hi. Yes, I'm definitely happy I'm walking on this path rather than the road right now. Did they say hi? Yes, they did. They said hi first, actually. I just said hi in return. Carve your name to the trees. I think it's kind of cool because that does actually stay there for the life of the tree. But I try to, you know, be leave no tracey as possible. And more people aren't using the trail. Like, like it is kind of business hours and stuff like that. That's the end of the day. It's actually close to rush hour. Maybe. Oh, I, I hope there's like some bike commuters that take this trail home. That would be amazing. I'd love to commute on this trail. Like I lived like back where I just walked from and I, I work up, up there somewhere. You just like ride this to work. You ride it home. Oh, that'd be great. Cass, I was watching you get in people's cars in the VOD. It makes me nervous when you throw your bag in first before getting. Has anyone tried to take off after? No, no one's ever tried to take off. I, I do understand that you're, that I'm putting my stuff at risk at that point. Um, but I, I, I have talked to them usually before I just chuck my bag in there. So, I, you know, someone could sound friendly and just be like, yeah, thanks for the stuff, bye. But that's a risk I'm taking. I, do, I, I love all my stuff. I'd be very pissed off if someone took all my stuff, but that's life. It's a it's a valid concern to have. At least for state thus far, I don't really have one that's like I didn't like this state. I thought Southern Alabama sucked for hitchhiking because they don't have shoulders on their roads. But um, what does the five illegal states mean? It means it's illegal to hitchhike in those five states. People generally try to steal from hitchhikers? No, because no one's tried to steal from me in 850 plus rides. Oh yeah, like, you can winter commute all year. Like, I lived in Calgary and there's plenty of winter commuters. They'd ride fight ba fat bikes or uh, get studded tires depending on what kind of uh, uh, conditions they're riding in that day. Just tuning up to look at the trail. I love this trail so much. I just, I kind of want to like, move here, find a job at the at one end of the trail and then find a place to live on the other end of this trail and then bike commute to work every day. Around another hitchhiker while hitchhiking? Yeah, on occasion. Arkansas sucked because of no shoulders. Did it? I didn't think we had too tough of a time in Arkansas. Which part didn't have shoulders? No, Arkansas was fine. Arkansas was fine. No, it had fine shoulders. At least the, the where I went in Arkansas it did. I don't know if you've hitchhiked in Arkansas. It would suck us to commute in the trail in winter. I disagree. I like winter. If you got a winter biking setup, then you can commute just fine in the winter. What state is there? Washington State. Did you check out Oregon yet? Yeah, that was the second state. Washington, Oregon, California. I started down the west coast. Yep, it is me. Thank you for giving a sub to 
Mika Jap Mika J Mika J P P V P Mika Jap Welcome to the Twitch Hikers DM is me thank you for gifting another sub. How many subs is that? That's a lot of subs. Thank you very much. And uh I know I said that name correctly, so don't even try and say I did it wrong. Just hike the Appalachian Trail? I'd like to. <laughs> Trying to speak French? Okay. <laughs> the place I'm going to has a French name. It's named after a French town or whatever. But everyone calls it like, they just, they just make the name weird. Wait, I've already forgotten the name of the place. Um, mm. Wish they had no shoulders. Uh, Alabama, southern Alabama. Okay, sorry. Speaking of French, yeah, Mont. Okay, so it's spelt like Montpellier, like it's a French name. But you're like, yeah, Mont. Pile, Mont. Mont what are you? Hi, Montpellier. Montpellier. I don't know how they say it. It's a French name and they make it not French. <laughs> what do you think of Everest? I don't know, next year sometime probably. When I find the time. They actually do have wireless service up to a certain elevation. I wonder if it would be possible to like have some kind of like network solution where you like take the existing network and like you can like receive a bunch at base camp and kind of like redirect that at to wherever your climbing party is so you can run a live stream from Mount Everest. If you did go to Arizona, if you're asking if I went to Arizona, I did. Are you going all the way up to Mount Everest? Sure, why not? Let's do it. So weird you'd pronounce it French too? Yeah, like it, it looks like a French word, so I say it like a French word. People are like, you're saying it wrong. Well, I'm like, okay, well, you, re you name your city after a French town, and then you're like, let's make it English. before Mount Everest hitchhiking stream. Can I just like stick my thumb out at base camp and have people carry me up the mountain? Is that how it works? How many countries do you see? I've hitchhiked through 25 countries. I've been to a few other ones. What okay, camera are you using an LG G4? <laughs> a very ancient cell phone. Isn't that true for Montreal? I guess, what do they say for French? Montréal, Montréal, Montréal. That's true, I guess. Okay, you've convinced me. I just read it like French, because so, I'm like, oh, it's French, French. Um, but it's not. That was a convincing argument you made. When are you going to West Virginia? Not sure, uh, probably next couple weeks. We have Nicolette Avenue, which is pronounced Nicolet. Everyone pronounces Nicolette. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's up here? Oh, I'm crossing a highway. Walking down this pathway. Going to that road. Gonna hit the road. But probably not today. Cause I'm not in a rush. I'm just walking. Cause I like it. I don't know what I'm saying. Like, I, was, I was going with the. Uh, it's a long way to the topic of rock and roll. Like, you know, like school of rock and stuff like that. But, um. <sighs> yeah. It was probably old rail trail. Uh, probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I love climbing mountains, me too. Do you want to climb a mountain? Let's go climb a mountain. <laughs> Did you get that Forrest Gump attitude? Made you hitchhiking the world? Uh, literally, yeah. Forrest Gump has come into play several times on our stream because people are like, why are you hitchhiking? Uh, and I relate to that part where he's running back and forth across America. And people are like, are you running for world peace? Are you running for women's right? Uh, and you know, really, the hitchhiking, like, are you hitchhiking for any kind of reason at all? And I'm like, no, I just like hitchhiking. I don't know, I, I just like it. Look, highway. Wow. Wow. I just feel like hitchhiking. fall in love with hitching. I've had like short romances, but no, I wouldn't say I've fallen in love. I use Streamlabs from, on Android. Twitch chat guides me. Here we come to Southern Indiana, probably hit you up with our private can't wait, private. Oh, oh, didn't mean to do that, but that's my face. Private camping spot that we own with a lake and stocked with fish. Nice and quiet. Okay, did I win yet? That sounds really nice. If I do go through Southern Indiana, that sounds amazing. You can't hitch on the freeway, can you? You can hitchhike at the very, very top of the on route, like the start of the on route. But yes, you can't be on that. I couldn't walk down that road. That's why they have these fences here stopping you from going down there. Could you get down there? Yes, because you can just walk around the fences. But uh, they try to stop you from doing that. How often do you charge your batteries? I can go about three days. There's a small little path. Probably some good camping up there. It's a little path. I kind of pee. Uh, I don't feel like doing that on stream. <laughs> Where do you sleep? Uh, like, if the sun went down right now, I'd just walk into some bushes over there and, and camp. Um, but on this trip, I've only camped like 25 to 30 nights. Uh, and then the rest have been split between people who pick me up, offer me a ride, uh, viewers from the channel offer me a place to stay and uh, either me buying a few hotels and motels here and there or some people from the community buying me hotels and motels. Got cost fortune stream all this out on the road, 150 bucks a month for data. And that's, that's your main streaming cost, so you have 150 bucks a month is uh, a fortune, then uh, and so be it. Can you even drive you to your next destination, Kentucky? Ah, oh, thanks man. Have you tried not to shower? I don't believe in showers. Showers don't exist. That's just what they tell you. You're like, you need to shower. You need to clean your skin. You know what? No, you don't. You just, you, you, you just get naked and dance around and your body cleans itself. Thought you'd get slammed with roaming? Well, I have a, I'm on the Verizon network, but through a third party, so it's a, like I'm Canadian, but I have an American plan. Woods here. Oh, so pretty. What's down there? Oh, they got a log blocking it. I want to look down there. What is it? Just like a. 
Oh, nice. You gotta be some great camping. Oh, baby. She's beating you. Should I try and catch up? Should I ask her if she's running for world peace? Like Forrest Gump with a camera? Because I actually have a camera. I could be like, why are you running? Are you running for world peace? Been to Chirac yet? No, I don't know what that is. Show for black bears up there. I'm from a place with a ton of bears. Like I'm, I'm used to being around bears. It's hard to run with this backpack though. I don't think I can catch up at this point. Like she's not, she doesn't have a, a super fast pace, but that's faster than a pace I could maintain with the backpack on. Chicago equals Chirac. What? Really? That's one. Where is it? Why is this? There's a dog barking. I'm gonna clip up this one. Just to keep the uh, the shoulder straps in place. Helps the bag not shift around. And since I'm walking in decent ways, I'll just get her get things secured in place. There we go. Four miles a day to maintain your weight loss. Walking's great for you. I love walking. I love walking. Solar panel doing any work? I'm not even using it right now. I charged up fully everything last night. Pay attention. Ever come across wolves? Now, wolves are endangered. It's really rare to see, rare to see a wolf. And wolves uh, generally leave humans alone. They don't want anything to do with you. How does it from get with streaming? Very hot. You know, there's no circulation. There's no airflow. It gets very hot and it'll, it'll shut down. Forest Gump stream? Yep. If you're looking for the Forest Gump stream, you found it. But we're the Forest Gump of hitchhiking and walking, I guess, as well. Oh, bridge! This is all new. They've they're spending a lot of money on this on this pathway. Oh, and there's a nice river down there. Oh, nature. Love it. Oh, and a nice breeze. Well, that must have been the old railway bridge down there. You can see the footprint on the side there. I'm guessing. And a bunch of graffiti. Or wait, oh, is that a pipeline in there? I don't even know. Don't quote me. Stop quoting me, everyone. But look at that. <sighs> Beautiful. Nice spot, except for all the sharks. Yeah, a few sharknadoes here and there. Hitch on a train like hobos used to? No, and I was thinking about it in my younger days of hitchhiking, but it's it's quite illegal. Um, so I definitely wouldn't live stream it or anything. And I probably wouldn't. I'm past the point in my life where I'd probably enjoy doing that. on the other side? What do you mean? That's where I'm going. That's the other side. There's a fishy? Probably. That's probably a good spot for fishing. What do you think? Up there? Anyway, let's keep going. Can we walk on the old bridge? You guys just want to see me fall. There's actually a decent breeze right now. 
and the backpack adds an extra amount of surface area for wind to be able to catch me. So if I get a good crosswind with the backpack on, it, it can toss me around a bit. Am I more comfortable doing something potentially illegal in Canada compared to the United States? I really try to keep things legal because I like traveling and if, if you get a record then um, well, you're inadmissible to a lot of countries. Blind Carbon Coffee, thanks for the 100 bits of watching ads for Trevor. <laughs> Thank you Blind Carbon Coffee for watching ads for me. Thank you. <laughs> watching ads for Trevor. Watching ads for Trevor. There's that stutter. Now, if you just tuned in, you're like, why are you walking down the path and why aren't you hitchhiking? As, uh, I've got a lot of time before I have to be in Montpellier, or Montpelier, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have to be there Wednesday by noon and it's Monday, and it's just down the road, so might as well go for a nice walk. Also, this walk's gonna make me extra hungry, too. What are we gonna have for dinner today, guys? Maybe like three McDoubles would be great. I managed to hitchhike a ride on a horse? No, unfortunately. I do, maybe when we go back through Pennsylvania, we'll go to some uh, location that's high in uh, like Amish population. So we can hitchhike on a horse and buggy. I checked the Florida Keys before? Uh, no. People have been telling me that, I, like when I was going through that area, I went through Florida, but I just went through the Panhandle and then along the northern part to like St. Augustine and then up through Jacksonville up and then straight north into Georgia. Um, but people have been telling me how nice the Keys are, so it's something I'd like to do in the future. Watch for bears. I understand that. I'm from a place with a lot of bears. I'm from British Columbia. New Hampshire is known for its flying bears. Watch it. No, it's Australia with the drop bears. Mr. McGiblets, thank you for resubscribing for two months. Welcome back. Welcome back and thank you for the continued support. Have you read Jack Kirak on the road? Yeah, I have. I read it because I felt like I was supposed to read it. And I'm like, huh, okay, I read it. It's okay. I do just want to take a quick peek at where I am on a map. Okay. 
a nice path. How many other hitchhikers do you run to? Not many, but a few. Where am I? Oh, there's a Mexican place coming up. And a cinema. Wow. You in Vermont? I'm not. I have to cross a river to get to, uh, get to Vermont. Let's cross the, uh, the, the uh, Connecticut River. Have you ever hitchhiked with a pro hitchhiker before? No, I'm the pro hitchhiker. I have a card and everything. It says Trevor Downing Professional Hitchhiker. Should have rent a bike. No, I like walking. Crazy thing that's happened since you started hitchhiking? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it is a very broad question. Have you shot a weapon while hitchhiking? I shot a gun on day one of Hitchhiking America. I'll just keep walking. Um, this is the first time I ever shot a gun. I wasn't hitchhiking. Well, they picked me up hitchhiking and then they let me shoot their guns. Um, I got shot at in Arkansas. Man bear pig. Yeah, that is something you always have to keep a, keep a lookout for. Come out of nowhere. Like, oh, it's a man. I guess I look closer. Like, wait, it might be a bear. Keep no, it could be a pig. But no, it's a man bear pig. It's all three. <laughs> Why you get shot at? Because they didn't know I was there, but I was right behind the sign setting up my tent. They were shooting a sign, and I was setting up my tent right behind that sign. But then when I told them to stop shooting at me, they stopped shooting at me. I didn't tell them to stop shooting at me, but I did call out and be like, Hey! Hello? Please, no shooting. Carry gun? Nope. How <laughs> nice of them. <laughs> hey, stop shooting at me. Okay. That's that's the uh, the abridged version of that interaction. No, he didn't know I was there. Heard of the hatchet wielding hitchhiker? I don't know if I have. <laughs> What's that? You said more shoot? Yes, please. I like bullets being shot in my general direction. It's great. Yeah, that's, that's what I did. I'm like, hey buddy! Can you stop shooting at me, eh? Just setting up my tent here. And the shooter room storage room. Yeah, I was setting up my tent on stream. Uh, with, the, <laughs> with the plan of being like hanging out in the tent, telling stories and stuff like that. And then this guy came along and shot at me. So then once he left, like I finished setting up my tent. And when I sat in there, I'm like, you know what guys, <laughs> it's bedtime. <laughs> Must have thought you were a bit... No, he was shooting at a sign, testing a gun. He wasn't shooting at me on purpose. He was shooting at a sign and I was right behind the sign. Like right behind the sign. Do I really look like a bear? Like, you know, no, I'm, I'm pretty jacked, pretty swole, but like, really, am I bear-like? I'm not, I'm really skinny. Bears are strong, man. They're one out of car after they pick you up, yeah, due to driving capabilities or uh, alcohol being consumed and stuff like that. Where are you at right now? Yeah, I'm lost. Um, just gonna lay on the road and hope for someone to come see Uh-oh. No, we're not, that's why.
My antenna did come unplugged, but I plugged it back in. We should be okay. Hopefully. Well, like we are in the forest, so it makes sense that like connection will drop in and out a little bit. Are you today? Where are you now? Uh, we're in, uh, in Lebanon, New Fabulous. Spectacular. There's a. Okay, now I'm lost. There's a split. I'm guessing I'm just gonna stay straight though. Excuse me, connection. Have I kept in touch with the storage board people? No, I've not. You miss them, but you guys were so you were so angry with them. So angry at them. You ride today too. One twitch hike, one hitch hike. Can I go sit by that river? That looks like a really nice river. <laughs> I'm like peaceful nature trail. Huge industrial building. Start contrast. Okay, so there's a trail. There's not really much like beach or anything like that, but I can get closer to the to the river. That's the movie theater. Dang it, why do you guys always know exactly where I am? You're not supposed to know that. Catch fish with bare hands, go noodling. Yes, we could noodle. Ah, and, and beers? That's horrible. And the connection sucks again. I have to drop down the uh, bitrate, I think. Okay, I'm going to drop down the resolution to 480p.